A massive 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake has just rocked Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula. Tsunami warnings were triggered across Japan, Hawaii, and the U.S. West Coast. But here's the real question. Why does Kamchatka keep shaking, again and again, with some of the world's most powerful earthquakes? In this explainer, we break down why Kamchatka is one of Earth's most seismically volatile zones. We'll look at the region's tectonic makeup, why tsunamis are so common here, and how earthquakes are measured. Kamchatka is a long, narrow stretch of land in Russia's Far East. It juts 1,250 kilometers into the northern Pacific Ocean. This isolated peninsula has a terrifying seismic history. Mega earthquakes struck here in 2020, 2006, 1959, 1952, and as far back as 1923, many followed by deadly tsunamis. Older records even mention tsunamis in 1841 and 1737. So what makes Kamchatka so unstable? It sits on a violent tectonic boundary, where the Pacific Plate is sliding underneath the smaller Okhotsk Plate to the north. This process is called subduction. Right off Kamchatka's coast lies the Kuril Kamchatka Trench, nearly 10 kilometers deep. This trench is where the Earth's crust is constantly being pushed and pulled, setting off massive ruptures and earthquakes. Kamchatka is part of the infamous Pacific Ring of Fire, a 40,000 kilometers horseshoe of volcanoes and earthquake zones that encircles the Pacific Ocean. This zone includes the coasts of over 15 countries, from Japan to Chile to the United States. It's a global danger belt, and Kamchatka sits right in its northern flank. The Ring of Fire is where tectonic plates constantly collide, slide, or grind against one another. This underground stress is what caused the July 30th Kamchatka quake, and many others before it. An earthquake of magnitude 8.8 .8 is extremely rare. It falls under the Great Earthquake category, and only one of these typically occurs worldwide each year. It's the sixth largest earthquake ever recorded, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. To put it in perspective, the 2025 Myanmar quake that killed over 1,700 people was 7.7 .7 in magnitude. This Kamchatka quake released 31.6 times more energy than that. The strongest earthquake ever was 9.5 magnitude, off Chile in 1960. So how do scientists measure earthquakes? They use a device called a seismograph, which records the shaking of the ground. When the earth moves, the instrument's base moves with it, but a suspended mass inside stays still, allowing it to record the relative motion. Magnitude is a quantitative scale. It tells you the energy released. Whereas intensity is qualitative, it tells you how strongly people felt it in a specific location. Kamchatka's location on the Ring of Fire, its tectonic plate dynamics and deep ocean trenches make it one of Earth's most earthquake-prone zones. And as the plates beneath keep shifting, the next big quake might just be a matter of time.